So, after my supportive shift video, I got a lot of questions asking about the different beauty standards for people in the Middle Ages, which it's hard to know for sure. But I figured one of the best ways to look into it was through descriptions of beauty routines to see what was considered desirable for skin and what we could gather from that. What I didn't expect, however, was to find a multitude of recipes for skincare because I had only heard of the Trotula as a source, when even uh, the surgery of Henri de Mondeville includes a full selection of recipes for skincare. And I thought, what is one of the best ways to figure out the real effects on the skin, rather than trying it out yourself? Now, of course, this has a certain issue, which it takes about a month for your skin to cycle out and see, really see the real effects. So that's exactly what I did. I followed one of the more simple beauty routines described by Henri de Mondeville for a month. Now, of course, we need to start out with what I already do for my skin. So let me walk you through that. I start off with a cleanser, and then after that, in the mornings, I'd use a serum with hydrolonic acid, and on top of that, a moisturizer with SPF, and more sunscreen because I'm very pale and burn easily. At night, it's pretty much more of the same with that cleanser, and then I will typically do, at least once a week, a face mask of these options. And then I'll use a nightly moisturizer and call that day. I, I think that's a pretty standard routine, although now I have added in a retinoid just to help smooth out my skin a little bit more. Uh, but with that all done, let's talk about what we will be doing this month. They use French soap in warm water to wash their faces. Then they apply a bran lotion. Then they anoint the dry face with an ointment of oil of tartar, repeated daily for eight days. Now, of course, uh, these are products that we can't really buy in a store, so what did I do? I followed the recipes. These are both a mixture from the Trotula and Henri de Mondeville because he did not provide a recipe for the oil of tartar. So for the starch water, it was as simple as letting barley soak in water overnight, and I drained that water to collect the starch while squeezing out as much as I could, and I didn't want to let the barley go to waste, so I put it into a pot with some broth and some vegetables to make a soup. Oil of tartar is made thus. Take tartar and break it into bits, and wrap it in a new piece of cloth, and dip it in strong vinegar so it becomes thoroughly soaked, and then let it be placed on the fire until it turns to coals. Then let it be placed on an iron bowl, and let it be mixed together between the fingers with oil, and thus for three or four nights leave it exposed to the air, and let it stay in an inclined spot so that the oil is able to flow out. Having collected this oil in a jug, let the woman anoint her face for seven nights and as many days, and even for 15 days if she has an abscessed and freckled complexion. And let's see how the month went. All right, uh, day one of the medieval skincare test. Here's how we're starting out. So I forgot to make sunscreen, which as we all know is a bit of an issue because sun protection is important. There are some recipes in the books, but I did not make any of them because I really have to make them immediately before I put them on. 
but I have to run to the office, so we're gonna use some good old uh, medieval style scrub, uh, sun protection, which is a hood. I'm pretty sure my neighbors might think I'm a vampire. <laughs> okay, so I know one of the questions about this is like, Faye, you just spread straight up oil on your face for a lotion. How does it feel? Well, the first, I, I did test everything individually before I put them on my face to make sure that I wouldn't have any adverse reactions, and I felt that my forehead is the most oily area of my face. Which is ironically where I start applying most of my products. So instead, with this, I applied it first to the drier spots of my face and then took it towards the T-zone. And that helped everything out really well. I don't feel too oily or sticky, I just feel smooth. Which is great, because this is supposed to soften the feel of the skin, as well as moisturize it. So. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. And look at that gleam. Look at that. I'm quite afraid that the starch water I have made will begin to ferment, so I will update on that later in the month. But currently it smells like soup. Maybe slightly like oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal flavor, or pfft, oatmeal smell sounds about right. Hmm. I have drunk a lot of weird medieval shit. I don't think I want to add this to the list. All right, all right, lotion time. I normally let things sit in for a little bit before I go to bed anyway, so I'm not so worried about the fact that this is like straight up oil. But it is something to keep in mind if you ever decide to try that. This which is why would you do that? Seriously, if you try this out and you're not a medievalist, why? Because like Modern skincare, yeah, um, this is natural, but it doesn't necessarily smell the best. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, this straight up smells like olive oil. I'm experiencing no major breakouts, skin has felt fairly soft, and <sighs> I am in the middle of outlining my Camp NaNoWriMo project, so <sighs> here's hoping on that. Um, yeah, and now I just need to get back to researching <sighs> the combat of the 30 and the French, oh, or the War of Breton Succession, because that's interesting, and I somehow need to figure out how to get the war in to the romance novel, because currently I have just trapped them in Jocelyn Castle, and I need to have a better reason for the climax to be the combat of the 30. So... It's my birthday. I have my face washed and huh, the redness of my acne is I think slightly going down. I can't really tell. I see my face far more often than you guys do. Um, but it's my birthday so we are going to get alcohol and cake and then we shall spend most of the day asleep. <laughs>
which I think is valid. <laughs> Back from the store and big shout out of course to Katie aka Latina Living History for the birthday bucks because that's what I spent it on. The Mostrado is her recommendation. Oh my god, it's three in the morning. <laughs> um, birthday shenanigans apparently went very well because I remember none of the last 12 hours. I hopefully did not vlog any of that. I'm probably still drunk, but I need to wash my face. All I know is that the Brits got me drunk through Zoom. And I woke up to find that apparently Ashley has recorded the Goat Worn Armcast episode with me, which... God fuck. Oh fuck damn. <laughs> um, so we are going to get more water and wash my face and hope that Ashley was just trying to scare me. So face is now washed, um, water is achieved, and let me just say, um... I noticed now that like I don't have as much texture on my forehead, which is very nice. Uh, I just moisturize so everything looks a little greasy. <laughs> Although my hair itself is just a mess. It is so fucking messy right now because I am... I am a mess right now. <laughs> um, there's currently a glass of rum and coke on my uh, drafting table, which is... More rum than coke, and I can definitely smell that, so uh, no wonder I got so tipsy with the Brits, because I can't mix drinks when I'm drunk, because I will just end up drunker. Okay, survived the hangover. I'm now human with water and soda, and now I'm chilling in the voice chat with some lovely friends. They're great. Katie is a horrible influence and I love her for it. So I'm physically on a call with uh, some other costumers, but I realized something I was looking in, in the camera and figured I should note. Uh, my usual breakouts are calming down rather quickly, which it usually takes a while for them not to. I am getting a little bit of a breakout here though. Let's see if I can get it to focus. A little bit here, a little bit on my chin. It might also be hormonal, I don't know yet. We shall see in a week and go from there. But I am actually liking how this is all working out. Oh, this is far too early of an hour to be awake, but here I am. It's vaccination day, I'm getting my first COVID shot. So let's wash our face. <laughs> First dose acquired. Um, I feel great. Uh, just waiting to see if I have that reaction. I shouldn't have anything, but here we go. <sighs> now, back to reading some Shadow and Bone. My sister for my birthday gave me these lovely wine cat pajamas, so I'm wearing that underneath my kirtle. It's also laundry day for my shift, so I just have a modern bra on, which feels wrong, but it's a live stream and I'm not doing a getting dressed sequence, obviously, so no one's gotta know. They're gonna know, but shh. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> All right, uh, time to wash my face. Um, yeah, this stuff is all there from the beginning of the month, but it's going down and I have no other breakouts happening. So I feel really good about this. Also, my skin has gotten so much softer. 
which is a good thing. Let's see how everything is. Uh, still gonna be focusing in on what's happening here. But the breakout that I was worried about here has calmed down. <sighs> Nothing seems to be going horribly wrong. I wouldn't say it's better than my usual skin though, so let's just see what goes on from here. Oh, and Pounce is here. Hello! Say hi! So I put on makeup for the live stream, and I mean, I look decent from far away, which is good because I was on camera, but up close it's like really flaky, which like not necessarily what you want for makeup, and especially foundation. So. There's something chemically going wrong I might need to, if I do do this skincare with makeup, probably need to use a different formula. Just as a heads up for anyone who might want to do this, I guess? I'm not really sure what to say whenever I'm vlogging because like, sure, I've done the skincare, but it hasn't really changed much. It, it's just my face. I've had no major breakouts, so like, what else am I supposed to know? I feel fine. <laughs> I do miss sunscreen though. <laughs> I still haven't done that to keep a control on everything. So I guess you didn't consider mascara while she was putting on her makeup this morning. This bitch. <laughs> so I'm hoping- oh! Oh, that is the first set to, like, for sure pop up. Huh. Well, let's see. Keep an eye on that. So I did hit my face already with some water. I'm hoping that the French soap will help get some of this off. Let's see. Uh, I don't think that's doing very well. Mmm. Soap in my eye, fun, okay. I think that got off, okay. Crisis averted, except for the soap in my eye. Let's get the rest of the face. I just finished uh, filming the uh, April Fool's video. I tried to do futuristic video foot makeup, although I don't ever do makeup, so I just feel more like a vampire, especially with my pale ass skin. Uh, Muse showed me her thumbnail, which is where I basically based all of this makeup off of, except for the lipstick. And let's remove it now because I cannot do this all day. I would like to eat soda or eat hot wings without getting red all over my face. Oh god. <laughs> and I turned into the Joker. Oh, uh, for makeup remover, I am just straight up using the oil of tartar. And there we go, I look less like a vampire. I'm still white as my walls, but I don't want to go outside, so here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get to editing this, because it goes out tomorrow, and I'll see you in a bit. What did we learn? Um, I didn't really have any major differences in my skin after that first week between my modern skincare routine and my historical. I still had hormonal acne in the same areas that I normally do, 
And what was most surprising is despite oil literally being rubbed all over my face, my skin adjusted to it really quickly. Now, of course, the obvious question that most people would have is, am I going to continue this routine? Um, no, because although I do like a lot of the products that I was using, I don't want to make them all the time, and of course, all of these items are clearly meant to work together. So the soap is rather stripping to the skin, but the moisture is reintroduced in both the starch water and the oil itself. And then of course there's the fact that there's no sunscreen, and I don't really want to see how my chemical sunscreen will interact with the ingredients of the medieval skincare. Overall, this was a pretty good month. I had the one breakout, which I'm still recovering from here, but this is a place, portion of my face where I pretty much always have acne, and I've just learned to deal with it. I'll see you next month. Thank you.